Now in this video, I would like to share how we change the engine wind filter for the Wars Picker Generator engine. If you want to know about this engine, I already uploaded a video for this engine. I will mention the link in this video description. Now you see the engine. This engine can produce the electricity 18 MW. The engine wind filter is the best side or free end side of the engine. Please note this, we will change the filter without stopping the engine. Firstly, we open the bypass line to apply the engine stopping or tripping. This is the new engine wind filter to change. Despite an inlet and outlet pipe for the engine wind filter housing, we close the inlet and outlet bar from this pipe that connected with the filter chambers. This filter chamber is called the automatic filter. It is made by the boot filter company. Fresher state is PN system. It has four chambers. One chamber has 31 filter scanner. After closing the inlet and outlet bar, we need to do the manual flashing full time for the four chambers. It can take nearly half an hour. We must do this step without skipping. When the flashing process is finished, we close the instrument and supply bar. We must need to check the pressure inside the chamber. Pressure gauge show nearly 0.5 bar. That is why I disconnected the pipe to release the pressure inside the chamber. If we don't do this, we can get the wine splash while opening the gas from the chamber. When the pressure reaches the zero point, we will open the cover. Firstly, we unscrew the net from the chamber. The net size is 24mm. We unscrew all the net. After that, we will remove the cap. You can see the filter inside the chamber. Filter changing procedure is very simple. Remove the nav and cover. Take out the old filter and replace the new one. Put the cover back and screw the nav. Finally, tie the nest. Ok, see how we are taking out the filter from the chamber. One chamber has 31 filter cannons. Before we put the new filter bed, we need to clean around the chambers and need to check inside the chamber also. After that, we put the new filter bed inside the chambers. Sometimes we are facing the wine leakage problem from the chamber cap. If there is no new orange to change, you can solve this problem like this. We use the seed tape. After that, we put the old orange and then use the copper silicone around the cap. Now we cover the chamber, we screw the net, we tie the net with the torque wrench. Tightening torque is 150 Nm according to the maintenance manual book.
After changing the automatic filter, we need to change the slash filter also. The slash filter collect the slash from the automatic chamber. The slash chamber has two filter. This is the slash filter. We will change the new filter. Before we put the filter, firstly we need to clean the slash chamber and collect the slash inside the chamber. Now you see the chamber is clean. There is the engine one slat. There is the new filter. After changing all filter, we open the inlet and outlet bar from the automatic filter housings. We check the engine one condition. Instrument air supply bar is also open. Now the filter is running in normal condition. We change the filter without stopping the engine. Finally, we close the bumpers bar. You see the old filter that we took off from the automatic filter chambers. Let's see how we clean the automatic filter. We send the old filter inside the water. We fill the water continuously at this time. The engine wine inside the filter comes out and the filter will be clean. Slap filter is one time use. I hope you will get something from this video. Please subscribe for most useful video about the mechanical engineering. See you next video guys.